there and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name's Alice and today we're going to be doing something a little bit magical. So we have another subscription box coming, this time from The Cauldron Co or Magic of Things. Basically it is a magical cocktail kit that comes once a month with a cocktail kit for you to make a magical cocktail. The Cauldron Co is basically a company that started with uh, themed bars and clubs in London. The first one they opened was called The Cauldron. Um, it's a magical themed bar, cocktail bar, where you go, you, ha you feel like a wizard or a witch all evening, you get to enjoy some magical inspired cocktails, just have a great old time really. It's a shame Covid's going on because otherwise I'd have definitely taken you in there after having discovering the company um, during this time. The subscription boxes, as I said, are just a monthly cocktail kit that come once a month and I have the first one here to try out with you. So I have been in touch with The Cauldron Co and something they wanted me to let you guys know about was that they've recently launched an investment scheme which basically means that you guys, if you love their products, you can help them, you can buy some shares in the company and help them grow the company and be a part of making more magical creations on into the future. All of the links to them, this box and all of the investment stuff will be down in the description box below so if you are interested please go and check it out. Without further ado, let's check out our first cocktail kit. Magic! Uh, so not the fanciest boxes they come in, they just have some nice fragile tape on them um, to keep them hopefully safe. Um, I'm not super happy with my delivery people because this box came, as you can see, quite battered um, with the fragile tape on it, which to me would instantly make you be a bit more careful, but there we go, that's the delivery service for you. So, going into the box, fluffy things, and here is the kit so it does come really well packaged as you can see as i'm lifting this out it's got this like plasticky bubbly airy um protection wrap on it so even if the postal service are a bit annoying and throw your box around a little bit you can be safe in the knowledge that it is nice and protected with this lovely plastic wrapper and there's also some paperwork there it is um so i'll also get that out and read that out to you as well uh, we have a garnish guide in which I will need a lemon, which I have already got, uh, so no stress about that. So that's what that is, so we will need that later. This is the paperwork that comes with it, so I have a little ticket here. This ticket is just a little bit of information about how I can sign up to their mailing list and get up-to-date information as and when it comes out. This is a bookmark, which is very cute. It's got their logo on the front, which is like a wand through a mechanical cog, and then on the back it says make magic real. I also have a card that says save the date. Ah, oh, wait, is this my instructions? It says save the date on it, but I don't know why. It, equity for magic. Ah, so this is the, equity for magic is the, um, investment scheme that I was just talking about, so that's what that is. And I also have this little booklet, which again is adorned with the well, Magic Things logo. Um, magic is just science that you do not yet understand. So there is an instructional video that I could follow, but that's no fun. So I'm just going to try and bustle my way through this without having a video to help. Um, but I do have a little note in this little booklet that reads, Dear Magical Being, Thank you for your purchase through the Magic of Things Limited, the Cauldron's Imagineering Studio in London, where we bring magic to life with science, technology and design. Thanks to you, we can continue to do the most fun work in the world. You are magnificent. Magical regards the wizards at the cauldron. But if you are investing, please remember that there are always risks that come with investments. I'm not here telling you to invest. I am just informing you of an investment scheme that comes along with this company that you can be a part of, but you do not have to be a part of. I personally am not part of it, don't currently intend to be part of it. But I just thought I'd share the information with you because they asked me to, and they're screaming it in literally all the documentation they give you. So now on to the actual uh, bag. So what we have in here, from what I can see, is like um, a bottle of what I believe is gin, there's a scroll, and then a, a bag, um, which I do know what's in the bag because I had to pick it before I ordered it. But let's just get all this stuff out and see what's going on. I have a horrible feeling I'm gonna need something else that I'm gonna have to go and get. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Right, so let's open the scroll first and see what's in my scroll, which is very, very cute. And I like it, very ambiantic. Um, just to also note that this is not an affiliation with Harry Potter at all. It's just obviously themed off the world of Harry Potter, or just themed off the magical world that most people relate to Harry Potter, um, which is kind of what intrigued me to it, hence the robe. Um, so it isn't an affiliation of Harry Potter. And whilst we're on the note of Harry Potter, it is slightly off topic, but I will have to say the uh, comments made 
made by JK Rowling in regards to the transgender community, I do not stand by and I do not support. I do not really have fond notions of JK Rowling. For the comments she made, I don't think they were at all right or necessary or her place to say anything. I don't support them. However, the world of Harry Potter is not just an author with a story. The stories have touched so many people in so many places around the world and given a lot of people a community in which they can meet and people that they wouldn't have normally met and I don't believe that the entire community and series should or could be taken down by such ridiculous and stupid comments made by one woman. She may be the author but she is not the owner or the proprietor anymore of this story. It is our story that we all love as fans of the series. Just because you continue to enjoy and love and breathe and sleep Harry Potter does not mean you condone her actions or her speech on the transgender community. I personally stand with the transgender community. I stand with the entire LBGQ+. I'm really sorry if I missed uh, a letter. I stand with the entirety of that community um, and I just want to know, I want you to know that you have my support um, and I don't condone her words and there is going to be a little bit more Harry Potter content forthcoming in the future on the channel which I'm really excited about because it's a passion, it's something I loved a lot as a kid and I'm kind of refining my love for it again in these recent years which is lovely and I'm really happy I am um, but I won't be shying away from the content just because one woman and one person thinks she has the right to say things she doesn't have the right to say completely off topic but I just wanted to say it and put it out there um, and I stand with you and I'm wholeheartedly with you it should be equality for everyone irrelevant of skin, gender, colour, um, belief, religion, sexuality, whatever everyone should be equal in the same right I strive for equality and I stand by everyone and there is everyone is welcome to this channel no one is seen as differently on this channel for being a very different way and if that ever happens in the, the community we're building or in the comment section i would tear it down and rip it down and make sure those people were not part of this community because it's not something i believe in or i stand for or tolerate so let's have a look at the scroll so whiz kit purely potions magical g and t welcome to month one of the cauldron's purely potion whiz kit over the course of this curriculum, you will learn how to create specialist interactive potions in a way that no ordinary cocktail class could. And by the end of it, you will have amounted an impressive collection of personalized potion paraphilia to keep displayed and continue to experiment your flights of fantasy with. On the note of that, I will open the Teflon bag because I do know what's in the bag because I had to pick what was on what's in the bag. So. I had to choose a personalised goblet, that's right, it is a gin goblet, but a goblet nonetheless, and I chose what was written on it, I think there's two or three, three or two, I think there's three options um, of what you can have written on your little glass, um, so it's got this nice little bag for it, which is I guess helpful, bags are always helpful, although it's quite a straight held bag, so maybe not, but the glass itself, oh Christ, there's things in it. <laughs> There's actually things in the glass, uh, which I didn't know. Let's just tip those out. These are all things I guess I need. And here is my lovely glass. And my glass reads, magic is real. This is month one's item. I don't know what the further months have um, in them. I don't know what the, the cocktail paraphilia is. Uh, but this is this one for the first month. It includes, all the things it includes, pre speller spell casting notes remove all items from within your customary engraved balloon glass wow if i'd have kept ready reading i'd have known there was something in there um and remove the glass from the bag ensure you've washed and cleaned your glass before use your glass of having clean before departing our apothecary in the clouds however the ravens we used to deliver cannot always be trusted to keep them that way make sure you have ice gin and tonic water on hand for an especially enhancing, enchanting garnish, follow our garnish guide prior to drink making. Oh, so I've got to do it first. I do need G&T and I do need to wash my class. So bear with me, I'm going to do that in a jiff and I'll be back to uh, start doing some cocktail making. Okay, we're back. So I do have some ice in the glass, but it's very hot in here. So I think by the time I come to use it, we're going to be at water, but hopefully we can get through this quickly and that won't have melted too much. Um, so step one, it does say to do the garnish first. So that is on a separate card, which came in the box. So I'm going to work through that first. For this, I need a lemon and a knife and should have a cutting board, but don't have a cutting board because I didn't bring one upstairs. Cutting away from your fingers, peel as large a strip as possible off the rind of your lemon. Now I'm glad there's a picture because I genuinely have no idea what rind 
means, this isn't the best table is it? I think it means this bit. So not all the way in, but like the skinny bit. Oh Christ alive. Um, please don't break. I think I need a big bit. Yeah, we're going somewhere. Oh, it smells like lemon now. That's nice. It's going to break. It's going to break. It's getting too skinny. Oh crap. Okay. Well, there you go. There's as large as I could get. I think I've gone a little bit too low because I can't actually see the lemon. We're working with it. Cutting away from your fingers, ensure the thin layer of pinth, uh, white is on the inside of your peel. You will need to, it thick enough for structure, but it then enough still for it to be movable. I'm pretty happy with that. I can see some white in there. Uh, lighting might be a bit too candlestic, so I don't know if you can see it, and I do apologize for that. Um, there's definitely one. There's a little bit of lemon, but I am going to roll with it. Cutting away from your fingers, straighten one edge of the peel and cut the other edge into a crescent shape. What? Like this? What are we doing? Alice doesn't understand. Understand! Well, I guess we're white, but I don't know what this means. Do you mean like this? That's not what the picture shows. Oh, you mean like this? So I don't have any of that crap on the edge. I got you. Hold on then. I worked it out. I'm a smart bean. We got this. We haven't even started the drink yet. This is just garnish. Um, okay, so now it wants me to cut one edge straight. Straighten one end edge of the peel. And make one crescent. I don't understand what any of these words mean. One bit's kind of flat and one bit's kind of curled. So let's, let's roll with it. Cutting away from your fingers, sliced, fanned, edges out on the end of the peel before making a two to three centimeter incision over the center. Be careful not to contact the fans. This isn't super clear. I think it means this. Kind of going more with the pictures and the instructions. So like it's supposed to be thin. I don't bloody well know. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. I get what it wants me to do. It wants me to do this. And then it wants me to make a hole in the middle, but not all the way, like, that because then that's the bit that's going to go on the glass insert onto the edge of your balloon glass via the center incision and add the garnish embellishment so like that i don't think i did this very well there you go there's a thing of garnish it it sits on the edge of the glass i'm calling it a semi-success so back onto the scroll with my instructions. Step one, take your tied up magical infusion bag and put it in the glass. But what, which one's my infusion bag? Cosmic Ray glass, dehydrated citrus fruits, juniper berries, magical infusion bags times two. So I've got enough to make this twice. Okay. Done. Step two, pour over 20, 50 milliliters of your gin of choice. Well, I have gin here. Let me guess, there's 100 mils in this, isn't there? So whitely meal is the gin in this pack. Uh, how much is in this bottle? Five centiliters. That doesn't help me. I'm gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess. I don't have a measure. I'm not gonna go find one. It smells like gin. So let's kind of put that, if I put that right in the middle, and then, oh Christ, on a bike. <laughs> let's say that much is, is a double shot of gin. <coughs> Cool! Ah, this is going so well! Agitate the bag with a spoon or other utensil until the entire liquid is a dark blue colour. <gasps> it's changing colour! Guys, look at this! I don't know where the liquid is and where the ice is. It's the gin turning... I can't believe it's changing colour! Oh, I have a knife. <laughs> Did I pierce the bag? No. Wow! It's blue! Kind of prefer it to be red. It's Gryffindor and all. Okay, I'm gonna go with yes, the liquid is entirely blue now, as is the ice. That's so cool, I didn't even know he was doing that. It's so cool! Ha! Ah, okay, let's play again, what happens next? Once you have this color, leave to soak for up to another minute before discarding your infusion bag. Add plenty of fresh ice. Ta-da! I did it! <laughs> Observing your potion, sorry, add plenty of tonic. So I'm just gonna wait a minute because um, I need that to infuse or give it a minute to infuse. So I think it's given me enough to, yeah, that smells the same. I think it's given me enough to make two, which is really cool. Do we think I've got enough gin in there? 
worried. I don't have enough gin in there. There's not a lot of gin in there. So better than more gin. Well, that bottle's feeling a bit light, actually. I don't know, actually, if I hold it to the light, I might manage to get that from... I don't have a lot of light in here at the moment. I can't see. Probably shouldn't be stabbing it with a knife, just in case I pierce the infusion bag. I'm going to go with yay on this. We're going to go with done. The reason I have anywhere to put this... Uh... Cool. <laughs> but I'm calling this the Ravenclaw drink, because it's blue. Uh, so we're going with tonic water. The only reason I have two bottles of tonic water is because this doesn't have a lot left in it and I didn't know if this would be enough. Uh, but I've got to observe my potions. Is something else going to happen? <gasps> it's purple! Please tell me you saw that! Please tell me you saw it! It's now purple! What the... what the hell? Magic is real. This is incredible! This is awesome. I am... I am living my best life right now. Add juniper berries and dehydrated citrus fruit for garnish. Also, express lemon peel as instructed in your garnish guide. Step seven, enjoy. That's it, we're done. It's purple now. Oh man, this is awesome. So I'm gonna put a few of these in. These are my juniper berries. I don't know what juniper berries are. I'm not gonna put them all in. Uh, I don't know what they are. So, let's put, let's put, let's put that many in. Wonk. <laughs> and uh, my dehydrated fruit. So just one of these, I guess. Yeah. Is it? Thank you. And I think this is a sprig of lavender, which it told me to use on the lemon garnish that I absolutely screwed up. Um, but let's just get one of those here. Why is it sticking out the bag? There we go. And um, kind of poke it through there. Okay, now for the taste test, which I'm very excited about. Ooh, it smells very citrusy, but I don't know if that's just the lemon peel on the side. No, I think it's just the lemon peel. I approve. That's really nice. It's very, it's like a citrusy flavour, but not in your face citrusy. It's, it's very nice. I sit here pretending like I know what I'm talking about. That's really good though. Very good. I like that a lot. I love that it changed colour. I didn't know it was going to do that. It went from blue to purple when I added the tonic. Guys, I'm trying to taste if there is any flavour to it or if I'm just breaking my own brain believing that there is. I think it just tastes like G&T. The infusion bag doesn't really... It does smell of something. Well, it smells like a tea bag, to be fair, but that could just be the bag. The thing in the infusion bag could be the thing. But it's the thing that made it go from blue to purple. Tonic water isn't red. There you are, that is month one of the Cauldron Co. Magic of Things Potion Monthly Subscription Kit. I haven't had too much of this, I promise. It's just a long, long lot of words to say. Uh, the kit itself was £25 and is £25 per month. Um, I think it's pretty good. You get two lots, it appears, um, of stuff you need to make the potion so i could make this again i don't know if i kept the infusion bag if it would work again the one i've already used at the moment there is only three months worth of subscription box i have spoken to them about this and i've said you know what happens when i get to the end of the three do you just recycle and keep sending me them or are there more due to come out or obviously they plan to add more into the the subscription box at the moment there is only three so if you join at the moment you only pay for three months worth uh, and once they run out of potions to send you, they don't resend you to potions you've already had. They'll just stop sending them until uh, they get a new recipe in, I guess, and then you, you start up again. They do have some other kits. So they have a botanical vodka and a botanical gin potion making kit. I do have the botanical vodka one. There will be a video on the channel. When that one is live, there will be a link for it in the description below. So if it's been a few months since I did this one, please check out the description box because um, it's probably in there now. But that is it. That is the first potion of the month. There will be another one next month when I receive the next potion. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out here today. It's been an absolute blast as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some magical love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome and magical and I will see you all in the next video! Right, 
I hope the lighting's good. I hope you like the ambiantic uh, Harry Potter appeal. Kind of what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs>